By the 1970s, beer sales in America finally matched pre-prohibition levels. Lager reigned as the popular favorite, but now a new generation of counterculture beer lovers and home brewers turn their passions into careers. They would build new breweries from the ground up. When we first started, there were no suppliers for the micro industry or the craft industry. I actually spent months and months going to little dairy towns throughout the state of California and up into Oregon. And dairy equipment was actually quite suitable for small brewers. Um, it had uh, uh, a very hygienic standard, and so. Everything I came up with, I built or converted uh, from cast off dairy equipment and food processing equipment. We created a, a style in American Pale Ale, but it took uh, more than a dozen brews at commercial levels that we uh, threw out in order for us to finally come up with something. We said, this is it. This is the beer we want to go to market with. What's happened is that highly energized and passionate home brewers have turned commercial. I mean, I've met commercial brewers that used to be airline pilots. I've met nuclear engineers, can you believe it? Accountants and lawyers, they get so passionate about their craft brewing that they actually give up what I call proper jobs. It's, it's fairly male dominated, but not because we're not welcomed. Once in a while, I'll have a customer say, so, Where's the brewer? You know, where's the where's the brewmaster? And my bartenders love it. They're like, oh, that's her right there. And one person even said, what's the world coming to? But apparently he forgot where he came from, so. As the legions of self-made microbrewers grew, their niche flavors moved from the margins to the mainstream of American culture. The brewing community is better because of home brewers and microbrewers brewing all these different styles. And it's bringing a lot more flavor and color to the beer industry, helping all of us to grow the industry. Brewers from the very smallest in America to the very largest are experimenting and coming out with new beer styles all the time. Our brewery is right in the middle of wine country. Most breweries you walk into, you see stainless steel tanks. For us, you walk in, you see wine barrels, and the consumer going, well, why is there barrels? You guys are making wine here? And bartenders are serving, say, no, we're actually aging beer in these barrels. This is Temptation. It's a blonde ale that we age in used Chardonnay barrels for around 12 months. And the oak character right now, to me, is a little too predominant. This beer tastes more like a California heavily oaked Chardonnay than it does a beer. So we may need to blend back with one of our other beers. Wine certainly still gets more attention in our area than our beers do, but I think we're turning heads. The American beer culture is one of the premier beer cultures in the world. Nowhere can you go to a restaurant or a bar and a tavern, except in the United States, and get the variety, flavor, and diversity and choice of so many different kinds of beers. Beer is a great reflection of the American character. It's a product that is without a lot of pretense. It is at its core an American experience. Beer is the beverage that when you say to someone, hey, let's go have a drink, chances are the drink you're going to have is a beer. You don't go to a baseball game and drink a martini. You'd probably be thrown out of the ballpark if you did that. It's quenched my thirst, it's improved my mood, and I can't imagine living without it. A 
lot of people ask me what's my favorite beer, and I'll say it's um, usually the one in front of me. <laughs>